the intake tubes are dry rotted and they're cracking out, so they're getting intake leaks. So rather than replacing them, they just kept tightening it. And it looks like a Chia Pet okay. coming out. That's a bad boy right there. What you doing? Uh, pulling out seat, we're dropping wrenches first of all. Yeah. Uh, pulling out seat rails. Why? You look new. Uh, well, if you'll look here on this one is very oh. evident. The elongated holes there. That's that fine. That means it's worn in, works better. Yeah. And this side's got the same elongated holes. Um, one of these, I don't remember which one, uh, RIA said there's a crack forming, so. The potential light like right there. Yeah, I see it right there under that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, now the guy down the road, he said it was fine. Y'all trying to rob me. Well, the guy down the road, road is trying to kill you, sir. Oh, he works on tractors every day. He knows what he's doing. They got seat rails on tractors. <laughs> that one's really bad. Well, he does. <laughs> he uses my old ones. And here we have the oil leak on the Cessna 310 and we don't know warum the oil is coming from so we're just going to take out these 427 screws to be able to separate the side cowlings to investigate further. Here we have a 310 bro. What just happened? Out of the intake. Your, your watch is giving you an alarm. SOS, emergency SOS, yes, absolutely. So is it going to oil from the intake? Oil from these drain tubes. The drain tube. intake. That's the puddle. That's fine, that's factory oil. There is oil in the intake. I did the intro in German. I thought that's... the intro. Do you need to stay with that? Yeah, we can keep it in German. The problem is I don't know Und German. Und have the oil. Und the oil. That's German for oil. Well. It tastes like W100, but it smells like 2050. But there is more oil in that. Okay. Preliminary, what we suspect. I found it. Other than the engine mounts not being done. You can see the hole in that line right there. So this was actually a really interesting find. When you see oil in the intake, you kind of think valve guides or something going on in the cylinder, but this wound up being the hole or the nick that you see in that drain line coming from the air oil separator returning to the case. We replaced that line, but that line was spraying onto this coupling during flight, and the coupling was old, had a little bit of dry rot and a little bit of holes in it, and that was just enough um, vacuum with the engine running for it to suck into that coupling and just completely cover the intake in oil. But instead of thinking, you know, crazy, hey, it's something internal, it wound up being something pretty simple to fix. Yep, sure enough. Yep, look, they're following us. Jade Hale, Operation Jade Hale, they got the helicopters out. They need Go to move. Go your families. If I go full throttle, it'll blow them over. What they got on there? I don't see any Hellfires on there. You know what the loadout is? Big 19C on it means training, so uh, training, nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're running it after we did the swap on the coupling, and we're gonna see if it still leaks a little. So far, so good. Now they're checking because I can't hardly see. So I see my fuel spot on the ground, but that's not wool. If there's no yeah. oil on the ground, how do we know it has oil in it? Because the pilot will check it on the pre-flight. Pilots don't check that stuff. <laughs> it, uh, so it was just that tube and that coupling, both of which are changed. E-E. They will be on their way to somebody else's fun so, engine. This, I just don't think this has 130 hours since the TBO. That for two years since TBO. That makes more sense. After you're done with stuff, we have fingerprints everywhere because our hands are dirty. In case y'all are wondering, this is not Tim's. It's not Tim's. But you do want to spray it and wipe all your fingerprints off. 
They don't give your car back to you at the car shop, already. I don't know why y'all do it with airplanes, but I swear. None of y'all clean them up. Airplanes come here, hand press all over them. Clean the airplanes. See, look, watch this. See that? And then, wha-pow, it's gone. See how easy that is? All right, this bird came in here, alternator, circuit breaker, was popping. We've had a lot of these happen recently. Let's go ahead and start with uh, what kind of maintenance has been done to it. I don't know. This safety cable's down to one strand that's pulling this temp sensor tight. It's loose. This safety wire going to the oil filter is pulling the old temp sensor in the wrong direction, loosening, probably because that was there. This cable's really useless because this is safety right here anyways, so you could just run it around run it here and go around tightening whatever anyways that's not the point the alternator when they were troubleshooting it yesterday we didn't, not able to get it on film you see right above the light and get my phone in there so you can actually see it no nope, you're gonna get it on some monetized how dare you nope you're gonna get us some monetized that's their second video This is why you can't get any work done for the YouTube channel. No one has vision. You're exactly right. Okay, there you go. You see that braided wire? That's the power wire coming from the alternator going to the main bus. They were shaking it yesterday while they were troubleshooting. And just so happened, we got uh, some fire going on. Probably because they need a new intake gasket. You can see that intake gasket leaking right there. That's a pretty healthy leak coming from the intake gasket. Dripping on the wire that had no shielding on it, which then caught fire. It's actually right here. This is the engine ground. And if you'll notice, it's not hooked up. It's just sitting there. Look at that. It's just hanging out. Terminal's broken. So, broken ground current has nowhere to go. Circuit breaker pops. But there's a lot of stuff we need to fix on this before it gets back going. In particular, that leaking intake gasket, which you should be able to see. Yeah, it's leaking there and it's going all the way down. So, one of the many fun days in general aviation. Here's where it caught on fire. So this is seven feet it's taller than me. And you said this was, how much longer was it? Like probably another four feet. So it's braided cable, makes it look even bigger than it is. But this is, that's a, yellow means 10 to 12 gauge. So this is 10, 60 amp, 12 volt system. That ain't getting enough juice for nothing. I don't know why people install alternators and do this. We see this a lot. But see, they've got that. And then you go look at the engine ground. We got a two gauge ground hooked up to this piece of crap. And then the ground runs all the way, terminates there. Pull that intake tube off. Got it over here, clean it up. Um, sometimes these intake tubes we'll get a crack in them, like right there. So it won't matter how many gaskets you throw at it. So before we ordered a gasket, I cleaned it up and made sure no crackies. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get a new one. A lot of these intake tubes are real dry rotted. So we're gonna replace the couplings. It's just stuff to look out for. More cotter pins on engine mounts. I don't know that it's wrong. I have to look it up. Hey, that looks, that looks weird. Let's investigate that. Bro! What? <laughs> the intake tubes are dry rotted and they're cracking out, so they're getting intake leaks. So rather than replacing them, they just kept tightening it. And it looks like a chia pet Over coming there? out. Yeah. It's a chia pet. Right there, a chia pet. Oh my goodness. See how, see how it's dry rotted? Yeah. So they're probably getting intake leaks. They're like, oh, we'll just tighten it. These are like $2. Just get a new one.
doing a couple window latches. These are really easy to go bad, and I'll show you why here in a second. Okay, so here's a new one. If you look in there, there is a ball bearing, and when you move the latch, that ball rides with it, and then it goes into a detent, and that's how you know you go up and down. So when you open the window latch and it keeps going, it's because the ball falls out, like it did on this one, and go all the way around. So you see somebody added some washers in there to make up for the, the difference, which is not a, the worst thing ever, because it'll still be functional this way. But that's what happens to these, um, the ball falls out. When you're doing your 100 hours, it's good to throw some LPS too in that spot. Keep that from happening.